I'm going to give you an in-depth review of the bone conduction headphones for Mojo 2 and compare it with the Shock Z Open Run Pro. You will also hear what it sounds like from my Sony D10 high-end recorder. Charging and playtime tests will be done to get quantified results. Bluetooth range. Microphone test. Latency test. Waterproof test. Design comparison. The unboxing can be found at the end of the video. To illustrate how the bone conduction headphones work. An empty plastic cup. My existing headphone testing rig is too big for this application. So in this case, I will just use the built-in condenser microphones. It takes a lot of time and effort to make this video. I hope you like it to support my work. Thank you. Power on. Source connected. This is what the Shock Z sounds like. Volume 50%. It is highly directional. The left one, when slightly tilted, the left channel volume is reduced a lot. Volume control. Play and pause. Microphone test. You're listening to the microphones of the Mojo 2 connected to the iPhone 13 recorded using the Voice Memo app. The audio is completely unprocessed and will be synced up with my Sony camera recording right now. It is very uh, sturdy and secure, has an open ear design for comfort and safety. And this is what it sounds like from the Shock Z built-in microphone. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. You guys be the judge and figure out which one sounds better. Again, the audio will be totally unprocessed. The volume may be adjusted to match the level for each microphone test. Mojo 2 Bluetooth range test. I left my iPhone on my mail post and started walking away. Let's see how far I can go without losing connection. The result was so surprising that I had to play this time lapse instead of the whole clip because I maxed out the line of sight and something cut in the middle so I had to stop the test. If I were able to find a large enough open field with a line of sight, I'm sure I can go even further. It started cutting off here, so I decided to head back. The Bluetooth range on the Shock Z, on the other hand, is not bad at all but I think it only has maybe half the range of the Mojo 2. It started cutting off with the line of sight. This is probably as far as it would go to be usable. The connection is still maintained, 
but the audio cuts in and out. However, I think it is still very impressive for such a compact Bluetooth headphones. It's just that Mojo 2 has an insane range uh, that I have never seen. The charging cable is connected magnetically and aligns up automatically. I drained the battery till it powered off. It only took 31 minutes to fully recharge at 1.4 watts power input. Charging stops automatically when the battery is full. I wonder how long it would last for 30 minutes charging, so I set the volume at 50%, loop in an MP3 playlist before I went to bed. Please note the battery life is actually at 90% when I started the test. Because I used it for a while before the test, the clock stopped around 6 hours and 55 minutes, so I guess it's safe to call it has 7 hours playtime at a 50% volume. In terms of wearing stability, I feel like the Shock C has a lot more play than the Module 2 due to the lack of support or contacts to the neck at this point. Although I don't think it will easily fall off, however, on the Module 2, it feels a lot more secure, making it almost impossible to uh, fall off during a intense workout. Here's a quick comparison of their design. Shock Z is IP55 rated. I can clearly see a lot of little hole openings from its speaker grill. While on the Module 2, there are zero openings from its driver unit. It's completely sealed and it's IP67 rated. The volume control of the Shock C is located on the right side within the thumb's reach. However, sometimes I may find it difficult to locate because this area also feels like a button where it is actually its charging port. It is also worth mentioning the power on off switch is also the um, volume increase plus symbol. Play and pause is located on the left side, which is the same as on the Module 2. The volume control of the Module 2 is by swiping it up or down, which is pretty intuitive and simple to use during a workout. On the left side, this part doesn't do anything. And the whole air surface area of the left button controls the play pause or previous next. The Shock Z has magnetic connection for charging. It's a bit easier to disconnect than the Module 2. Still works fine. I'm going to increase the volume. Mojo 2 latency test. Good evening, everyone. Just a few days ago, a little before 2:30 a.m. in the morning, a man smashed the back windows and broke into the home of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the third highest-ranking official in America. He carried in his backpack zip ties, 
duct tape, rope, and a hammer. Shock C. Good evening, everyone. Just a few days ago, a little before 2.30 a.m. in the morning, a man smashed the back windows and broke into the home of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the third highest ranking official in America. He carried in his backpack zip ties, duct tape, rope, and a hammer. As he Build to bone conduction headphones. This type of headphones are very important for athletes or sports enthusiasts such as cyclists where you need open ear design to hear the surroundings. Has titanium frame, eight hours of music and play, waterproof IP67 and ultra low sound leakage. Here we got some instructions. The power button is on this side. This part can be pressed in and we got a magnetic charging port over here. The indicator light area is right here. Seems quite sturdy. Let's see what else in the box. A carrying bag, user manual. This is probably the charging cable. Yeah, that's everything. We also got an earplug. Looks like a noise canceling earplug. And the magnetic charging cable. Okay, let's first of all charge it up. Aligns automatically like this. cannot be reversed. That's good. Let's see the user manual. If you're interested, you may pause and read the user manual. This side is a touch sensitive control. Slide your finger across up to increase the volume or slide down to decrease the volume. And different press to answer a call, decline a call and play music. Specifications are right here. Cool. All right, looks like it is fully charged. Shock Z Open Runner Pro. Let's take a look. Two year warranty. Very tight tolerance. Oh, interesting. There's a little carrying case. So this is the main unit, very compact. The charging adapter, 
power on off and only two buttons um, the volume control and on off and there's what one button on this side straps charging cable the charging speed is 0.5 watt There's our red indicator showing it's charging. Very lightweight.